from there, we're going to move up to the CSC speaker. Now that's the bread and butter right there, yeah. huh? Oh, man, yeah. these yeah. things Rip really hold on. There. We should have thought of that a little more before we started this. So if we get Tim to, to zoom on this here real quick, we got a couple unique features. The CSC are, are fairly similar to the, the DSC, but the CSC, we've got pretty much every size imaginable. Yeah. I mean, three and a halfs, four inch, four by six, four by 10, five inch, five by seven, or six by eight. A lot of people ask, what's the difference between a five by seven and a six by eight? Packaging. Pretty much packaging. <laughs> and if you notice on the five by sevens and six by eights, where you actually have the mounting ears for the screw holes, they're actually elongated. So it basically the difference between five by seven and six by eight is where the screws actually get you know, a how did far you say apart. Four by ten. We actually have these in four by ten. Not many companies still make a four by ten, but by yeah. gosh, we have a, these in a four by ten. Now these use also that thirteen millimeter PEI dome tweeter. Now one of the things about this style of tweeter is they're a little bit more directional. I mean, a little bit more like a flashlight beam, you know, focusing that energy where you can actually almost point a tweeter at a wall and bounce the sound off it. I think there was a company that did that with home speakers for quite a while. So <laughs> you've probably heard of that company. We won't mention their name, but everybody knows what we're talking about. And kind of that direct reflecting kind of marketing. I got you. But one of the things we've done to help get that sound from the speaker to disperse throughout the vehicle, and dispersion basically means, you know, basically spreading it all over. The speaker has these little dimples, kind of like a golf ball. Yeah. You know, around the tweeter. And, so then you know, on a golf ball, it helps it fly through the yep. air. Golf it, ball flies further, right? Exactly. Less, less wind resistance. And that's the same thing, not necessarily putting this through a lot of wind, but it actually helps break up some of those direct sound waves and helps spread that out through the, the vehicle a little bit better. So better off access response. Yep. So when you mount those in your doors and they're at your knee, it sounds better to your ear that's not at knee level. So same thing, we've got the polypropylene cone, we've got the 13 millimeter PEI tweeter with the little, you know, dimples around the tweeter. It's very shallow mount. It's gonna fit here again in over 80% of the stock locations out there. Now, both the CSC and the DSC speakers, they're very efficient. You don't have to have an amplifier. Right. So to, to make anything efficient, I mean, you basically, it's kind of like cars. You've got two cars, you know, they're out in the parking lot and they're dead. You've got to push them inside. You've got a Cadillac, you have a Honda. Which one's going to be easier to push? A Honda. Why? Because it weighs less. Exactly. Same thing with the speaker cone. If the speaker cone is lighter, it's going to take less power. So these are really designed to play extremely loud with just a stock radio or no amplifier or a very small amplifier. But one of the disadvantages to get the, to do that, you have to lighten up the cone. So they might have a little less bass response than, say, a little bit more expensive speaker, but then it's going to play louder. So there's that trade-off.